Hey guys, I'm Profits from WildProfits.com, and I'm wanting to welcome you to my next episode in my gold making series for using the Trade Skill Master uh, application, the in game add ons. And in this video, we're specifically talking about TradeSkillMaster.com and its tool called Group Maker. So let's get started. First, navigate to TradeSkillMaster.com, just as it mentions up here www tradeskillmaster.com to bring to you to the new home new recently moved home to the TSM crew and it hosts a lot of awesome features and today we're only going to be talking about just one of them so if this is the first time that you come to the site you will have to log in and do a quick registration it only asks you for your name your email address and a password and then that will actually send you an email to your box your email box that you designate during the registration process click on that link and that will activate your profile a quick validation is when you do log in you look in the upper right hand corner here and it will say welcome whatever your name is mine welcome well profits if that's where you're at click the site drop down menu here so you have add-ons desktop app site click site and we're going to specifically look at group maker load up this page so TradeSkill Master currently works off of a group structure. If you're not familiar with the term group, you could probably watch my elementary uh, video series, Volume 1, uh, that's currently on a YouTube playlist. You can go to youtube.com forward slash profits TV, P-R-O-F-I-T-Z TV. And there's a playlist there specifically about my gold making series that talks about groups. But let's say you want to make your own unique group. This video will be talking specifically about using this group maker tool from TradeSkillMaster.com and making whatever groups that you want. So it's going to involve a couple of resources. One is this page. Two is it does work with Wowhead. So Wowhead.com. And then three, WowAuction.com. Notice there's no A in auction. It's W-O-W-U-C-T-I-O-N.com. No A. These three resources will allow you to create unique groups in Trade Skill Master. You can use either one of these. I'm going to keep all three of them up just to show you that you can pull information from either one of these sites. So let's say we want to make a, uh, a group on, let's say, weapons. So the way that you do it in Wowhead, wowhead.com, go to the database tab here, scroll down until you have items and weapons. And let's say we want to look specifically for daggers. Daggers are cool. Backstabbing daggers. Click on the daggers link, and this can bring you up to its filter page. So this gives you the ability to be able to narrow down or filter specific criteria that you want Wowhead to return to you. And based upon those results, you guessed it, we're going to turn the results of this Wowhead search into a Trade Skill Master group, which then we can buy and sell from. So starting with quality, we're going to say, I only want to look at uncommon quality or green items uh, obviously let's look at main hand and then let's enter a range required range let's say we want to look at mid-level so let's say we want to look at like uh, 55 to 65 65 to 75 why not 55 to 75 uh, we want to do a couple criteria because we don't want to actually make a group on what's craftable so I'm going to add a couple filters here extended filters binds when equipped yes I also want to do if you do one search on uh, crafted by crafted by profession no because I want this to be an actual drop like a rare drop in a dungeon or a, a, a mob kill or a trash kill uh, another thing is you want to trade it so it's and these are the three filters that I recommend that you always apply if you're doing a filter search uh, sold by a vendor no these are the three that you want to at least include if you're making a real exclusive group binds when equipped yes crafted by profession no sold by a vendor no let's do a search scroll down apply filter there we go so we have some daggers that we can find this is a list of everything that we can find so let's say now we want to even narrow it down further and say, I only want to deal with 429 on my item level. So let's go back up here. And I think this is the area, 429. This will tell me right now which one's which. All right, so that is right. So now I'm only dealing with a specific set item level 429. Not that these daggers are anything specific or what I currently buy and sell. 
from the auction house, but just for an example of what you can do. So now the only thing you have to do is actually copy this, dragging by simply dragging your mouse, copying it, control C for copy, or I believe you can right click copy. And then we're going to, again, tradeskillmaster.com, site, tools, group maker. All you need to do, notice this bottom line, there's no item numbers there. If I paste this in raw as it is, it's going to automatically detect the item numbers for these and actually give them to you. Once you have these item numbers, they're an import string, and here is Easy Street. Anything, anytime you have an item number, you can do anything with it in uh, Trade Skill Master. So just to show you, let's go open Trade Skill Master forward slash TSM or from the mini map. Go into the groups. We're going to create a new group. This is actually a brand new profile, so you don't see any of my existing groups. And we're going to put daggers real quick here. I'm going to click OK. And there's our group. There's no items in the group. But because we have the item string now import, we can actually click on the import, paste in those numbers that we got from Wowhead, click OK, and now go to items. And actually we'll see all of the items that are in there based upon that that we just pasted in. There they are. Again, you want to make sure that you're pasting it. Clicking OK. An important thing to remember, if you already have existing groups, this is a brand new profile, so there's no groups, so there's no conflict between items that could already be in existing groups. So there's a checkbox here that you always want to pay attention to before you click that OK button. If this is checked, it's basically going to remove any item that's in an existing group and put it in this group. See, move already grouped items. If this is checked and you have 100 groups and you already have a daggers group down here, and this is checked, it will take them out of that and put them in the new group, which will affect operations. So if you have a certain thing down here that you do with daggers for buying and selling and you remove it, guess what? You lost the settings of that. You didn't lose the settings, but you lost uh, the operations attached to that, and now you have to reapply them up here. So uncheck this if you're unsure. Click OK. Check your items. Make sure that they're there. And now you have a valid group that you can then apply auctioning to uh, selling or buy, shopping for buying operations. If you had those, you can ex uh, just quickly add them. We're not going to talk about auctioning and shopping in this video, but I do have a auctioning and shopping specific video that you can watch to learn about what these operations do for items that are in groups. So there's one group. Very cool. Let's go back to Wowhead now and say, all right, this is the tool group. We're back at Wowhead. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's how you add stuff from Wowhead. You can do anything, any item level that you want. Item levels on this side now, levels on that side. And let's say now we only want to look at uh, rares. Rares for daggers. Is there any rares? Let's see. Yeah, here's a whole bunch of them. Again, we're keeping this criteria. So all of these, you can tell that they're drops in the dungeon by this column over here. They're one-handed. Very cool. And let's just say for the hell of it, we want to take, uh, just pick them randomly. Uh, we'll do item level 200, 200 to 510. There they are. This is a handful. Same thing. We're going to highlight this, copy it, go back to the tool. What I typically do is pretty easy. You can actually highlight this again and delete it if you wanted to. And it would delete all that. A cleaner way is just go back to site, group maker. It refreshes it, or you can refresh the page. Paste it in. Bam, there's your item limit. Item import string. Go back to Trade Skill Master. You guessed it. Let's go to New Group. These are blue daggers, or we'll call them rare. Rare daggers. Switch to the group. Nothing in the items. Import. Paste. OK. And there they are. Beautiful as they are simple as that. If you made a mistake, oh, I didn't want that one, just shift, remove it, gone. Oh, I actually didn't want that one either, gone. So you have the ability to actually be able to add and remove based upon item levels uh, too. So it's very flexible and powerful once you get the item ID inside of Trade Skill Master. How do we do it from uh, WoW Auction now? So let's take a look at that. That was WoW Head, WoW Auction. WoW Auction is the same way. You need to be able to log in uh, to WoW Auction. So you can log in using any one of these features. You can log in through your Facebook, your Google accounts, 
uh, whatever you want. Once you log in, same thing, you'll say Facebook, welcome, Wild Profits. It is realm specific, so make sure that you're actually picking the realm. Choose your realm. You can start typing it out. Make sure it is faction, it is zone, realm, faction specific. I'm on US Tichondria Sword. Say it up here in the upper right hand corner. If that says it, you're good. So now same thing. We can search for certain individual items if we want here. We can search, start typing dagger. And let's say we wanted to just do this uh, toxic dunk dagger uh, from here. We can pull that information directly from here if you wanted to and pull that in. Or what I like to do is if you go to uh, the actual professions, let's say I'm on professions and I'm in uh, jewel crafting. Here's some quick advice. You have three tabs. Quick advice, product analysis, mat analysis. So under quick advice, it basically gives you, if you sort by any one of these columns, you can left click on it. And it's going to sort and say, wow, look at all these lines. 260 of this delicate primordial is sold every day on the auction house so far. We're at 30% in demand, 52 quantity so far, and it gives you some estimates on what's going on. Same thing with product analysis. You can do statistics on what's currently out there, what's being posted, what's sold. Uh, mat analysis as well. Let's say we want to see what's currently out there. So the Panthers, you know, obviously from Jewel Crafting, the way up there. But let's say we wanted to make a group on this, these couple down here. So we're going to start from uh, Blood of the Mountain. We'll do True Gold, uh, Living Steel, Blood of the Mountain, Primal Air, Shadow Pearl. Highlight from the bottom up to the top. Right click, copy, or Control C for copy. You guessed it, same thing. Go to uh, Groups. Tools, Sites, Group Maker, refresh the page, or you can actually uh, just go to the Group Maker again. Refresh and clears it. Notice again, nothing down here. I'm going to paste it in there, and automatically it gives you item import strings. These are materials, so we'll call these, based upon that site, uh, flippable mats. Flippable materials, we'll call them materials. Click OK. Make your group. Make sure, always make sure that your group's highlighted. Nothing in the groups. Import. Paste that in there. Control V to paste. V is in Victor. Or, yeah, I think you have to Control V. You can't right click with your mouse. Make sure. Yeah, you can't right click with your mouse. So you have to Control V, which is a command to paste that in there. Then you go to the items, and there's the items right there. Then again, if you want to remove an item, remove that item and it'll be gone. Highlight it, remove, and it's gone. You're only dealing with these few functions. So notice, oh, I accidentally deleted that. I don't want to do it. I don't have it in my groups over here. You can actually go back to import, import it, OK. Go back into items, and there it is, what we just removed. If we want to remove living steel, we removed it by accident. It's no longer in the group, see? Go back to the import string copy that back in and there's living steel is back technically when you start creating groups living steel will move uh, into uh, your sub or ungrouped categories based upon your your structure parent parent and child or top level structure substructure so you'll be able to accidentally move this in and out of groups as you required but because we actually have the item ID we can do anything we want with that in trade skill master so again, that basically covers the ability to do custom groups from using the Trade Skill Master site tool called Group Maker. All you, anything that you can think of, any item that's in game or items that are in game, you can filter out using Wowhead or Wow Auction. Even down to items, and then this time you want to go to Armor. You can actually even get granular right in the drop down Armor plate. And then that would do the filter and all the way down to that level. And then all you have to do is just do the same thing. Apply and there's all your Ghost Forge. I was actually in the items section. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep this in the video actually as well. Just in case if you're doing multiple group searches for Trade Skill Master using the group tool. That you're paying attention to where you're currently at at Wowhead or Wow Auction. Because that will affect obviously filter. But now we only want to do Ghost Forge. So let's see if we can filter this out. Ghost just type in forged here see if that will apply this filter and it did so now we're gonna make a group off of this so you guessed it right click copy it all 
right click copy from here or control C get used to the control C for copy control V V is in Victor for paste because it works universally I'm gonna paste it in there there's my group now I can actually make a trade skill master group called ghost forged ghost forge plate click OK I'm gonna go into the import export control V for pasting that in there clicking OK and now you'll see your items. You can do anything you want with these items. From there you can do operations selling or buying from that group. And that's it guys. It's very as simple as that. Have fun with it and uh, look at all the other features too that are available on the actual site off our tradeskillmaster.com. Get used to it. There's a lot of things you can actually do. If you're ever in question or you have uh, a problem or you're experiencing some type of trouble with Tradeskillmaster or uh, the Trade School Master website. There is an IRC connection directly through the site. Site IRC chat. Click on that. It's going to open up the web portal. All you have to do is actually enter your name at that point, and it'll actually bring up uh, directly inside of the actual IRC channel. And inside the channel are actually uh, people, developers, lots of people that use the site. And it'll almost look like this if you use a channel, a uh, chat client, like I use Hex chat you can use MIRC but you can pull that information right up and this is the actual channel right here and you can see all the developers are in there sap you sig sig uh, you can see crying's in there bot 39 muffing all the cool people are in there uh, helping people out as much as you can so make sure that you guys uh, use that support them uh, there's also on the site a donation so again Support the people, the developers who are taking their time to actually develop an application that if you are interfact, inter, interacting with the auction house in any means, most likely using tradeskillmaster.com. They're spending their time. Uh, tip them a couple of dollars through that donation link. I do, and I appreciate the efforts that they take in our behalf of making gold. So again, guys, thank you very much. That is using the site tool, tradeskillmaster.com. I'll see you next time on the next video. Happy gaming, and more importantly, happy earning. I'm Profits from WildProfits.com.